welcome to a new series on the channel we're going to be playing pc building simulator this is the console edition so if you are here to see certain features such as the the esports and the um it career mode unfortunately they're not included in the game as of yet hopefully they're going to get updated so if you are here to see that um apologies it won't be part of this series but however this series is about money 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 we are essentially here to just make the biggest profits possible and i'm after the trophy which includes having one million pound in the bank so we're going to try and do our best to spend little maximize those profits and get our money into the bank get the trophy and then that will be the end of the series hopefully we, we won't be about 400 episodes in before that happens um but we'll see let's just go on and see how we you know see how we we start this career yes we're happy to overwrite the existing mode we're going to be going into the pc building simulator workshop these are additional workshops that you can buy i don't want to just because it's purely cosmetic they're really cheap about two pound but that's not the point um they're purely cosmetic so we don't need them hello Welcome to PC Building Simulator. To begin, go to your PC by the doorway and open the email program on the desktop. You've got mail. So this is our workshop, our beautiful workshop. Um, that fan in the background is the noise of the workshop. It's not my PlayStation or um, my computer, anything like that. It is in the game. And um, it says, yes, this is our workshop. Uh, as we go along, we will improve it. I need to start spinning around. My guy will be dizzy. But it says, read your first email. So let's go and have a look at our emails and see what the first job is. Timbo2000 at supermail.com. Welcome to your new PC shop. Hey, thanks for taking over the PC shop for me. Sorry, it's not in a better state. A few things. The company isn't doing very well and there is no money in the bank account. As we can see, it's minus 15. The rent and energy bills come out monthly, so make sure you have enough. He's essentially saying, do your best. He's borrowed money for fuel. That's not a problem. I know I will probably be skipping over quite a lot of the tutorial based things or the shitty story based emails because this is all about profits. I've played a little bit of this game before as well, several hours into it. And um, I know how to play uh, up to a certain point. So most of the, maybe the first few hours of this game we will just be skipping over things and doing it and i'll just try and explain as best i can what is going on so uh, our first email which is our first job hi tim i hope you can help me my computer has been running slower than usual and i think i might have clicked on something i shouldn't have dirty bastard i bet you've been looking at filthy porn do i have a virus thanks gary gary's going to give us a hundred dollars our budget for this is zero because we are literally just removing a virus timbo hey check out cloud notes um cloud notes is an app you can use essentially like a notebook system on the game um to remember what you need to be putting into what machine it can be linked to each machine unfortunately in this case because we're playing on the play uh, on the ps5 it's so much more difficult to be typing it out every time so that's not going to happen so we can discard that go to pc that pc will probably be in the corner and we can also discard that email yeah so this is the pc this is our first pc that we're going to be working on as you can see it wants us to boot os and remove the viruses so we're going to pick this pc up and we're going to take it to our work bench over here and this is at the first pc that you're going to be working on this is a really easy job as you can imagine the game's not going to throw you into the deep end so click to work on the pc plug the pc in for this job you need to run a virus scan press right or the cable button and plug the monitor keyboard mouse and power into the back of the pc so these are your pc cables this is never going to change these are always going to be the same every time you do have a thing in the future that can update uh, that you can update to have it do you know do it automatically but at the moment we have to do it manually so you just hold x on the cable and hold x where it needs to go in it's always going to show you where it needs to be plugged in it's not necessarily trial and error it's kind of a good system because it means you can't miss a cable so we're just going to pop all of them into the back of the pc now we need to insert our usb drive um now you need to put your usb drive into the back of the pc so you can install the virus scanner press up or install button to go into inventory and select the usb drive it plugs into the usb slot on the back of the pc there's certain programs that people aren't going to have my biggest concern is most of these people bringing the pcs in don't have virus scanners but that is fine, more money in our pocket. So we pressed up on the D-pad and we're gonna choose the USB drive. It tells us where to pop that in. So we're gonna pop that in. Now we need to power the PC on. Uh, we can go down and press the button here. You can press the front of the PC or you can just press triangle. It's usually easier to press triangle. And with this, we can then go over to the PC. 
nice little boot up noise we can go over to the pc and now we can install the virus scanner so add or remove programs these are all the usb ones as you can see cloud notes changing the wallpaper, lighting for different RGB effects within the machine. But we just want the virus scanner for this first job. So we're going to install that. Now it installs incredibly fast. Now with installing programs, um, you have to restart after every single program that's installed. So if you're installing multiple programs, you will be doing multiple. You don't have to do multiple resets. Um, because you can install and then install another program, but after the end of that pro, the, the last program installed, reset your computer or the computer and it's going to install it. And as you can see, the virus scanner is here. Now, in the event of future jobs, we will be able to come away from the PC. The PC is going to continue as I will show you now. So the virus scanner is going to run. It runs incredibly fast, unlike real virus scanners. So we're going to start scanning. Now, in the event of this scanning, we can come away and do other things. That will be a massive factor out later on because we will be needing to do multiple jobs to maximize them profits as you can see 504 files have been infected oh gary so we're going to clean them files for gary that means we're all done we don't have we can come away from the from the monitor we don't have to do anything we don't have to uninstall the virus scanner we don't have to do anything other than pick the pc up and pop the pc down doesn't matter where you pop the pc you have eight slots for in and out i usually pick them up from the left and pop them on the right you can do any format you want it makes no difference but here we've done this now we can now collect that job there is hundred dollars in our bank account we've gone now to 85 pound 85 pound towards our first sweet one mil it's going to be a long road um but some jobs the first few jobs maybe for the first couple of weeks really low paid and as we go on we will have more and more jobs um to basically you know more and more money in our back pocket but today we are done we've got no more e emails in our inbox which means no more jobs so what we have to do is leave the route leave the office press end day and now we are back into the office for the next day Tim's Red Hot Repairs. At the moment, it's Tim's Red Hot Repairs. You can change that name in a bit, uh, which is another trophy to be able to buy out the company from Tim because we are literally the only worker now. Tim has fucked off on holiday and we will be doing this ourselves. Hi there, I just want to say thank you for fixing. Thanks, Gary. Um, the, the system to send out the PCs is really fast, which is, which is just fantastic at the moment you do a job you can collect the money straight away so if you have bills the next day and you know you can get some jobs done or on the same day you can actually do all the jobs before paying out for the bill so as you can see here more space on the computer hello i need more space to back up my files could you install a 500 gig hdd please i'll bring it around first thing so what usually happens with these jobs is when you accept a job the uh it can take a little while for the job to for the computer to turn up i say a little while it's the next day it's always delivered the next day with a computer um, and you'll see the same with the parts. So we now know this person wants us, or Gemma, wants us to install the Motoni Easy Store 500 gig or better. Now we can accept this job. It's going to come up saying, yep, yeah, it's going to come the next day. We know what we need to do. So in the event of waiting on the PC, because you can see, look, just to show you, there's nothing here. It literally says in transit. We know we need the Motoni Easy Store 500, which is going to be a component we're going to have to buy. So if we're going to the shop, it's really awkward the controller because you have to double click with X like a real PC. Now because this game was designed um, initially with PC in mind, the double clicking can get really annoying but it is something that you end up being used to. So we know this person, Gemma, wants the Easy Store, Mortoni Easy Store 500. Now these are the 120s, uh, 250, 320, there's the 500. So we want to add that to our cart. Now, if you're going look in our cart straight away, uh, time of delivery. So, essentially, different jobs are going to take different time frames. If you want to maximize your profits and get the jobs out straight away, next day delivery all is always the best. Um, it doesn't. Sorry, it's not necessarily maximizing your profits because you're spending more money for next day delivery. Uh, next day is thirty dollars. Three to five working days is ten dollars. Same day is a hundred sometimes that will be needed and unfortunately that doesn't factor into the budget of the people's uh, the jobs you know the people you're doing the jobs for so in this case it's just 30 dollars for next day i'm not going to order that just yet and i'll show you why so their budget is 50 dollars. i know um from doing it before that the uh, Motoni easy store is 
fifty dollars. So it's 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 pretty much bang on. So here we go. Uh, broken from Queen Brittany. A broken graphics card. Uh, my graphics card has fried itself, and I need it to be replaced with the same one, please. An Nvidia GTX 970. Maybe one of those Sheen ones or Sheen. Uh, I can drop it around first thing. So again, we're going to go into transit. So this means this is going to show up tomorrow. Now the reason I didn't order because the 30-day delivery cost is on the delivery, not per item. So if you're doing it on every item, you're essentially adding $30 every single component you're ordering. We don't want that. So as we've clicked on graphics cards, we're going to go down and take a look. Now we know, again, you can switch between the windows. Uh, can you move the window? You can move the window over. Brilliant. So we want the GTX 970. So if you click on shop again, uh, we're going to quickly do a search because it's going to be faster. So we want 970 graphics cards. So the Sheehan ones. Now their budget is, uh, I think it's 265. So automatically we know um, there's 265, 280. So it must be this graphics card. If you were ever unsure going forward, PC stats are here. You can go and have a look and you can see it's not the XL, it's the standard GTX. So again, we're just going to add to cart. So here you will see, if it clicks on it, it's just 50 plus 265 plus the $30. Both of them are in transit, so looking at the last email now, uh, hello, could you have a look at my PC please? It isn't running as well as it did when I first bought it. I've probably not been taking the best care of it. This is $100 just to remove viruses and clean out dust. This is ridiculously lucrative. These are the best jobs in a way, because you're not actually having to spend any money, you're just getting it in, um, and they're the easiest jobs to do. So all three of these now are in transit, and we're gonna go back to the shop. It's three, 345. We're gonna go into minus, we don't have a choice, we're gonna to have to buy them now. So we're now minus 260, our bank is telling us we are overdrawn. Our free overdraft is $1,000. Anything over $1,000, they start to charge you daily. Anything below $3,000 and they freeze your account. So essentially you can't just go out and spend $3,000 constantly because it will, um, they will freeze your account. Now again, all these are in transit, which means we have no other jobs to do today. So we're going to step away from the computer and we're going to end the day. And by ending the day, the computers are going to show up tomorrow with the components. So we know the PCs are here, thank you, and the new parts. So these are your three new computers that we need to be working on, and these are your components. The graphics card and the Shein Gamer. So I'm gonna um, clean out viruses. So you don't need to see the clean out viruses again. Uh, I'm gonna install the Mortoni 500. So I'm gonna show you how this one works. Um, we wanna remove the side panel at first to obviously get in now i know 100 percent the graphic the graphics card the hdd is on the other side of the um the box so i'm just showing you removing the plates you don't have to remove both plates at all times but it is nice to show you the inside of each um box and there is your hdd that we're going to remove in or installing so this one is a 120 now in the event of um in the event of the the way the game, I would usually sell most of these parts. Now, really, you shouldn't be taking customers' parts and selling. You should just be giving them back to them. But no customer in this game complains, and there's a reason for that. When you build up components, you can actually build machines and sell them on a, uh, a form of eBay in the game. So any component now that we receive during this series, we're going to keep. Uh, we're going to keep all these because we're going to start building our own machines, whether it's office-based machines, because I'm essentially getting these parts for free. So we're going to go and look at installing the, um, the the 500. Now, as you can see, it only sells for $7 anyway. That is absolute, That's nothing. $7 is minimal. It's not going to help us at all. But it might help if we're installing it into a PC because that component might become more than seven dollars when it's installed um so we're actually going to install this the 500 into this and we're just going to close the tray now to um hook this back up in a similar way to what you saw earlier with in, uh, inputting the cables into the box we're just going to go to the cable um which is right on the d-pad at the bottom uh, as as before and we're just going to hold x and we're just going to connect the components to the rest of the psu and the um the motherboard that's now installed 
So now we can actually install, if we go down to PC parts, it actually keeps the parts of the PC that you take off. So in this case, you've got the side panels. Uh, so we're going to install this side, which is the back end. And we're going to install the front. We don't have to do anything else now with the front of this or inside this box. We've installed it. As you can see on the right hand side, it's gone green. And with us installing that, it may means we can uh, adjust the cables. Now, if you look in the bottom right hand corner, it says no OS installed. The reason for that is because we've installed a new hard drive. With a new hard drive means no operating system, which means the operating system has to be Come on, pick up, thank you. Which means the operating system has to be reinstalled. To install this, we want to be using the USB drive again. So you don't have to do anything else with it. You just have to boot up. By booting up the system, it will automatically install now the OS. And that means the job will be done. Okay, so the PC has booted up as expected and it's also installed the os system so you can see on the right hand side now the pc status at the bottom is ready to boot and on the right hand side it says pc can boot os install and place in delivery area so we can take that now and place it in the delivery area if we now go to that email which i believe was the bottom one yep from Gemma, we can just click on collect now we have 330 dollars into our account and as you now will see 70 dollars up we're back in the green and we can discard that email so now we're going to install the graphics card this one is a tiny bit more fiddly than the um than doing the hdd but it's essentially there are several types of jobs in this game and they all pretty much run the same as you go further into the game there will be more detail but outside of that it's not too bad so if we highlight over the graphics card, you will see it's gone orange, which means it can't be removed as of yet. And if you then look to the left hand side of the graphics card, there's a red strip. This is like a lock. As you can see, it's the PCI lock. So what this means is as you hover over an item, if it can't be removed for this certain reason, that is the reason. So it will highlight red for the item that needs to be removed. And once this has been removed, this will then go green. Or if it's got wires in it, it will go orange and show you the, the, the cables connecting in red, which means they need to be removed. But in this case, we can just remove that straight out. Now we know this is faulty. I believe a graphics card so because this is broken i am actually going to sell it because we can't use it in another machine we will not be able to build using this component so we might as well get the eight dollars from it and now install the new graphics card so as before same place it's green installed now we do have to apply the pci lock back on screw that in now that has been replaced if you can see in the bottom right now it says incomplete case that means in this in this instance the um the side panel is not been put back on and now that once the side panel has gone back on it now says not plugged in so it kind of it's very much a um when you're doing these jobs it's very much sort of like a tick list once you've done the job it will then tell you exactly what is needed to be done to get the pc back up in working order in some cases it might say no os installed in other cases it might say not plugged in if you've left a cable out in the back it might in, uh, in, in internally i should say if you've left a cable unplugged internally it will come up saying um, cable unplugged or anything like that so again we've installed this to um We've installed this to uh, OS, uh, the new graphics card, and booted it to OS. I don't know what I'm saying. Sometimes maybe just ignore me. It sounds like I'm losing the, my mind, and maybe I am. And uh, so we've booted it to OS. We've installed the new graphics card. We can place this in the delivery area to be picked back up again. And if we just go down to the... Um, collect we can collect the money uh, this is a simple tip from me whatever job you're working on it's always worth getting the pc but uh, the email back open on your own pc the reason for that is because in the event of you need to read more information or just need to go back and check something it just means that you can go in and check it um only at once you will always have eight to work on so if you have more emails than eight it's not a problem you're still only working to them eight on a daily basis you can't just collect more until they are re-delivered the following day 
So again, we've picked up $525. Now, a lot of that was based on our own money buying the new parts in the first place. So we've made only a $260 profit, but we've still got 525 going into our bank to £600. So again, we can now discard that one. And this is the um, virus. You've already seen um, the virus scan, but you haven't seen us clean now. So first I'll show you how we clean out the PC. Once it's been cleaned, I'll remove the viruses. You don't have to sit through that because we'll try and skip over a lot of the um, the crap that you guys will have seen on multiple occasions. So we're just going to install. Instead of anything else, you're just going to use the compressed air can and you're going to spray the inside. It can take a while in some cases. And we're just going to spray the inside of the, the case in a hope then that at some point we'll start to see the dust disappear. There you go. Some dust removed on the motherboard. More dust has been removed from the case. Blow out the dust from the top because there was a lot of dust in the top. And on the graphics card. Now, again, once it says clean out dust, even if you can see a little bit of dust, it doesn't matter because in this case, it's always going to be the same. Um, once it's once it's green, that job is done. So I'm actually going to go ahead and install the... I wasn't on the actual machine. I'm going to go ahead and install the, um, the side panel. And I am then going to go ahead and remove the viruses on this machine. Now, that job has been done. We've removed the viruses. We clean out the machine. So the different difficulty with this sometimes is you might come down to objectives and these will be green. If you've forgot a cable, left the side panel off, done something wrong, at the very bottom it will say PC status and will tell you incomplete case, missing cables, um, not booted to OS, anything like that, and then you will not be able to collect your money. So in that case, you can't exactly go wrong with um, looking at the emails if you're unsure if a job has been completed. So I'm just going to collect this money. That is now, we've leveled up, we've got an extra $100, we're on 703 which is a great little bonus at the start, and we've unlocked new components. Um, in this event, of the, we've now done all of the jobs for today, so I'm going to move on to the next day, and I'm also going to end the video there. A nice short video to start the series. Um, hopefully going forward, these videos uh, might be a little bit longer, and um, the different jobs that come forward, we'll try and skip over some of them that, so you guys aren't seeing multiple jobs, um, so it's boring for you guys, or we might skip over, um, we might do like a, more, a time period where I will just earn money for two weeks until we actually come across new jobs, because at some point, there will not be any more jobs going forward. Um, we will have obviously new builds and, and things like that to do, um, overclocking components, um, working out components to work to requirements we've on a game so there's all sorts that we're going to be doing this early period for the first month of january it's new jobs galore after january you start to see the jobs become very repetitive and when that happens that's when we're going to start cutting out a lot of the time frames so you guys aren't actually having to sit through it all as I'm moving towards this money, because at the moment, $700 for one day is great, but $700 in one day is not going to be any good um, when we're trying to make a million, because it's going to take us forever. So you guys don't want to sit through that. I don't want to make you. Um, so yeah, this video, I'll stop rambling. This video uh, is done, and we'll move on to the next one. Thank you for watching. Um, we hope you enjoyed uh, the video, uh, and going forward, we'll have all sorts of stuff um, with this with this series, which will be fantastic. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.